All right. So welcome guys to our January, it's almost February tomorrow. So exciting team call. Um, and if you're watching the recording, just a heads up, I did post on our team page. One other thing I wanted to say was, um, challenge packs are $160 and above are going on sale an extra 10 bucks off for February, which is like awesome. Um, so, you know, it's a great way to kind of like kick off February and be like, Hey, anyone that had said no to you in the past for $160 above, which is the all access pack and above, um, everything's 10 bucks off, which I don't, I don't remember a time when the all access pass was ever above one below 160. So Keep that in mind when you're chatting with people. It's a great, you know, selling point. I don't think it will stay on sale past February. It's just a team cup promotion. So, um, so I'm excited to have Chelsea with us. Um, and I love this stuff. I'm totally math brain. So I'm excited to talk about this because she's going to talk about volume and cycle bonuses and second business centers and family accounts and kind of how to manage it all. Um, and so I'm psyched. She is a five-star coach. She is in Team TKO, which Chelsea, I don't know who your upline is, actually. My direct upline is Christy Lyons. Oh, she's awesome. Okay, cool. So she's in Team TKO, which leads up to Brandy Botts, which is like way, way, way up. But um, we connected in a TKO leaders group. Um, she was a premier coach in 2016, an elite coach in 2017 and 2018. And she has been at Success Club 10 for 38 months. I'm going to guess you've been coaching 38 months. Actually, I think 40. Okay. Okay. It, it always, it's so frustrating. <laughs> that one <laughs> month, like I hit 10 and then I didn't the next month, but then I did every month after That's that. That's awesome. Yeah. So you're about similar to me. I'm like three and a half years. So we're... Yeah. Um, cool. Awesome. So, um, so I will let you take it away. We are recording. So if you guys miss anything you need to pop off, this will be recorded for you. So go ahead, girl. All right. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I've been getting complaints. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So it is so great to be here with you guys tonight. Thank you. Where do you all live? Where are y'all from? Um, you can, shout it out or chat whatever i'm in mass California. oh wow what'd you say jill new hampshire okay cool that's neat kayla did oh i'm in florida oh wow that is so in cool. mississippi or tennessee 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 okay like on the Mississippi years. line, right? Right by the Mississippi line. That's right. Okay, cool. I was close. I was close. Um, <laughs> Aubrey? Oh, Jillian, I invited some of my newer coaches to join. I hope you don't mind. No, I I, of course I don't mind. Totally cool. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Well, we're from all over, basically. Our team is super spread out. So That is so cool. I love... I love that. That's really neat. I think it's really cool how, um, like you don't have to live by each other to be on this amazing team together. I just, I love hearing where everybody's from. So great job getting on this call. You guys, um, my team calls are at this same time on Tuesday nights and my California people never join because they're always like in the middle of dinner or whatever. So I'm super impressed that y'all are here. <laughs> um, okay. So I live right outside of Houston. And um, I've lived here in Houston for seven and a half years, I guess. But I'm actually from Maryland. So not too far from some of you guys. And I have three girls. They are seven, five, and almost two. And um, I'm exhausted right now because my two-year-old is just, yeah. <laughs> Um, today she cried all day and slammed her hand in the door twice. The second time I almost went to the ER over it. It was like nauseating, but she's okay. And she's sleeping now. So I'm just like emotionally drained. <laughs> you guys are catching me on the great, great night. That's okay. I, in fact, I was thinking tonight when I was eating dinner, I was like, I just want to go get in bed. I mean, I've been looking forward to doing your call, but after that I was like, after that, I'm just going to get in bed. And then I thought everything I've been listening to and my PD says 
um, if you want something, you have to do it no matter how you feel. And taking an extra 30 minutes after I get off this call to kind of do a power half hour is going to move my business so much forward, so much more forward. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow feeling like so excited that I did that. So that's my plan. And I just think like leaders in this business and in any business and in life, they're consistent no matter how they feel. So that's, that was on my mind tonight just show up, you know, post on Facebook, share your journey. Oh, cool. That's neat. Lindsay Matway said that. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't always feel good, but it's always worth it. So, um, yes, Jillian, she said that's the difference between hobby and workers. Yes, that's so true. Um, okay. So I, Started in Beachbody, like Jillian said, um, in the fall of 2014, and we had just moved to the suburb of Houston, so we were living kind of down more in the city, and um, we had two girls at that point, and we needed to get out of the city, and we picked Kingwood because Kingwood is this beautiful little bubble. Um, most of Houston is really hideously ugly. I'm sorry, but it's just not pretty, and um, Kingwood though is like, it's, it's like you're in the woods and having grown up up North, I really desperately miss trees and water and feeling like I had a little bit of space. And so we moved up here, which was a brilliant move on my, I mean, it was mostly my husband who was like, we need to do this. Cause it was one of those things where he's like, I know this is going to be better for you in the long run. And I, instantly knew he was right, but I did not want to come. <laughs> it was, it was like the two parts of me were just battling. It was like, I know, I know, but it, in my experience, I've moved a lot. It always takes two full years to feel like you're settled in somewhere. And I just, we had lived down in Houston for, I think four years at that point. And I was like, I finally feel like I have this community here, but I knew we needed to get away. Um, so I went kicking and screaming, but I went knowing it was the right thing. Well, that summer he was getting his MBA full time and he was working full time. And since we had just moved to the suburbs, that meant he had a longer commute. And I had a four year old and a two year old and I was home alone in a new house, in a new town all the time with these little kids. And, um, and it was summer. So everyone was like spread to the four corners of the earth. Like I couldn't even establish friendships because nobody was doing anything regular, you know? And, um, anyway, I just went into a depression. I just, I really did. It was bad. My anxiety got out of control. I've always struggled with depression my whole life. Um, and I have bad anxiety that's more like secondary to the depression. So if my depression isn't managed, then I am very anxious. And um, in that summer, it was just terrible. And I just did not want to leave the house. I felt like, what am I doing? I had these two little girls. I had to leave the house. We had to do stuff. And so anyway, um, I barely made it through that summer. We got back from a trip to see my family, which helped a lot. And I saw this advertisement for a clean eating challenge and I was like, that's weird, but I kind of want to check it out. And so I joined, didn't plan to do anything, wasn't going to do anything. And I didn't do anything. I just sat and watched and observed. And <laughs> at one point during this challenge, um, one of the women in the group who had been following it to a T and I was seeing her posts in the group on Facebook. I was seeing that she was doing it. Um, she said, you guys will never believe what happened today. I turned around quickly in the kitchen and my shorts fell off because <laughs> she had lost weight. Like she had like detoxed. She was drinking a ton of water. And even just in, a, in five days, like she had lost that much around her middle. And I was like, no way. That's insane. So when the coach of the group, who's Christy, um, then advertised for the 21 day fix, I was one of those people who was in the background who was like, yep, I'm going to do that. I've watched, I've seen that it works. I was very skeptical, um, but that just watching that challenge convinced me. And so just to throw in a little tip here, I never discount the people who don't participate. In fact, a lot of times I find that um, this is kind of a little theory I have <laughs> that the people who are most likely to participate in your free groups, you, how do I say this? 
it's just kind of a theory I have on humanity, okay? I feel like the people who can afford a challenge pack often are more skeptical of free things. And so they're more like, hmm, I'm going to wait and see. But the people who are like all in with the free stuff don't always end up purchasing. And maybe you have a totally opposite experience for me, but that's been my experience. So I never discount the people who are not participating. I always make sure to go through and develop relationships with them over messenger because a lot of times I'll get more purchases out of them than I will out of the people who did the challenge, which is just so counterintuitive. So anyway, um, so let's see, where was I? So I did, I decided to do the 21 day fix. I could not believe I was spending money on this. I mean, I was a gym, gym rat type of a person, except that my kids were little and they were always sick or crabby or didn't nap or whatever. So my consistency with going to the gym was terrible. And I hated that I had been an athlete even in college. And so, um, I felt out of shape still from my second pregnancy. So I just felt like I'm already paying for a gym membership. Why on earth would I buy a challenge pack or a shake? I mean, I was so skeptical of the whole thing, but something in me just said, give it a try. And I'm kid you not within a week I had signed up to coach. I was one of those people that I just went all in 150%. And I was like this, it changed my life. I mean, by the end of the first week, I had energy. I had excitement for the day. I was excited to check in with this challenge group every day and to show them what I was doing. I felt accountable. I felt like people cared about me and they were cheering me on, I guess. I guess I just really needed that feeling. And um, I was sleeping great. My anxiety was disappearing. Now, I will say I do have to take medication for the depression. So I do, I do need that. But but like this has hugely made it better. You know what I mean? Like hugely. So I was noticing that, um, getting so much better. I was pulling out of this anxiety. And so I signed up to coach, I think in the middle of the second week, I was like, send me the dang link. I want to do this, you know? <laughs> and I signed up and just like hit the ground running. And I just felt like, um, I had always been into health and fitness. And so why, why would I not take the opportunity to maybe make a little money on the side doing this. And I have never regretted it. It's been an amazing experience. And to be honest, it has um, cured me of a lot of boredom because when you have little kids, like I'm a stay at home mom and when with little kids at home, I love them dearly. I am glad to be home with them, but it's boring. <laughs> and that's part of my, that was part of my depression too. I was just bored. And so, um, it gave, it gives me something to think about even while I'm like playing with my kids on the floor and like half of my brain is playing and the other half is thinking and solving problems. And I just, I just like that. I like using the brain God gave me, right? Like <laughs> I went to college, I, whatever. I mean, I had, um, a career before I had kids and it's just really great to me to be able to to use it. So I don't know if you guys can relate. I see some of you guys nodding. Do y'all have little kids or I guess kids of any age? Okay. <laughs> no kids. Um, I mean, yeah, we all have different stories. Like you said, you don't have kids. I mean, I have coaches on my team that don't have kids and they have other, you know, it fulfills them in other ways. I, I think it's just an amazing thing that can meet you at any point in your life and just provide something for you. So that's a little of my story. Um, I'm kind of a competitive person, so I like that about Beachbody. I like that um, if I work hard and I work smart, I'll get rewarded for it. I'm not like limited by what my boss says I can get. Um, I like seeing the elite numbers every month and pushing for that because it it like hits my competitive nature just perfectly. Like, um, so I really enjoy that. Anyway. I wanted to talk to you guys about team cycle um, bonuses because like Jillian, I'm more of a math science brain and I really enjoy the numbers. And early on, I figured out that if I played the numbers game, I could make a lot more money than if I um, didn't understand that. So I started to pick up on, I'd hear things, you know, like beach body coach chatter. And <laughs> I would do some work on my own and try to figure out how things would work. One time I overheard a coach. So, you know, have you guys been to summit? 
not yet. Oh, I hope you go this summer. It's amazing. Um, so flying from Houston to summit is always like everyone on the plane is going to summit because Houston is a hub. Well, it's kind of a hub for Southwest, I guess a lot of flights will come through here. And so it's like the entire plane is full of beach body coaches. And one time on the way back, this was probably th three summits ago. I overheard a couple coaches talking about placement and how you can place somebody. Um, you can actually pick specifically where you want them to go in your downline. And I hadn't heard anything like that before. And I was like, I am going to figure this out. So this is what I'm here to teach you. Um, so you don't have to overhear it on an airplane <laughs> like I did. And I have a slideshow, so is it okay if I share my screen? Okay, let me see if I can. This always takes me a minute, I'm sorry. Um, where did I put it? Right here, I think. Mm, that's not it, hang on. There, can you guys see that? Yes, okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this so I can see you guys. So hopefully that's okay. Um, okay, so how to reverse engineer your income. I love the concept of reverse engineering, but let me get to that in a minute. So how to earn money as a beach body coach. There's three ways. Um, you guys are probably, you might be familiar with this. So I'm just gonna kind of skip the whole commissions thing because um, when you first start as a coach, your whole world revolves around commissions. And so you probably understand commissions pretty well. Um, and I'm going to skip that because that's, you know, you get it. Okay. Commissions. Well, what I learned quickly was commissions. If you're doing things right, commissions will become a small part of your income and commissions are, um, they fluctuate, right? They are based on the work you're doing that day or that week, and they're not stable. It's like you might sell five challenge packs one week, but none the next week. And then you've got like this all over the map kind of income. And I didn't like that. I wanted consistency in my income. And so that's another reason to go for team cycle bonuses because they do provide some level of consistency. And the bigger your team gets, the more consistent they become. I'm also going to talk about quarterly bonuses a little bit at the end. We're skipping commissions. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. If you guys um, want to stop me at any point and ask questions, please do. Um, I can't see all of you, so you'll have to just kind of yell. <laughs> okay, so to earn a team cycle bonus, you have to have 200 team volume on one side. So do you guys understand the whole right leg, left leg? Some of you, like, are you guys mostly... Emeralds, coaches, diamonds, Jillian, kind of what do you have on here? Yeah, um, I can't see everyone, but the people I'm looking at are mostly coaches right now. So okay. I think going over the basics, I hold on, let's see. Yeah, mostly coaches right now. So, and a couple awesome. emeralds and a diamond. And a diamond. Okay, that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys are hearing this now while you're just starting because, um, it really motivates me. I hope it does for you too. So you, everybody has underneath you a left leg and a right leg. And the way it works is all the coaches that you add under those, those let you, when you add coaches, you're either putting them on the left or the right. And every MLM is structured differently. This is the way Beachbody is structured. Um, their volume every week, anything that either they buy for themselves or their coaches buy or sell or they like they sell to their customers any of the volume goes into a bucket so you have a left side bucket and you have a right side bucket so you have two buckets of volume and it's just a total amount from everything that's below you on each side i will show you a graph in a minute that will help this make sense but um when you have, and every purchase is assigned both a PV and a TV, and this confused me for a really long time. Um, you get, so for example, like a challenge pack might be like, um, I don't know, it, I always think of the 21 day fix challenge pack, it was always 105, wasn't it? I, I'm not sure. Um, but then the team volume for that will be less, and they just do that for the math, whatever. So there's a PV and a TV, but the 
thing to remember is Shakeology is always 90, always, always, always. So this business is really built around Shakeology retention. It's super important. Um, so every time one leg, either the left or the right, has 200 TV and the other leg has 100, you will get paid a bonus if you're a ranked coach. And that's every week. Um, and it doesn't matter which and they can go back and forth. Um, sorry, I'm getting some feedback. Can everybody mute the lines? Okay, so they can go back and forth. Like if you have 200 on one side and 100 on the other, and then when you subtract that out, then you, your sides have swapped, then they'll swap and they'll take 200 from your higher number and 100. It, as you see it happen, it makes a lot more sense. So emeralds get $14 for every 200 to 100 matchup every Thursday and diamonds get $18. And that might not sound like a ton, but this is where you can make bank. Because if you have thousands of volume coming up under you or tens of thousands, you are making a lot of money every week and you're not selling in order to make this. You're relying on your team and how well you train them. And I'll go into all that. Okay, so check this out. Do you guys have questions about this before I go on? Are you good? Guys, feel free to ask questions if you don't understand it. It's totally normal to not understand it. Don't feel like, oh, I'm the only one that doesn't get this because it takes time. And I just want to point out that many of you, Jill, you look like you were like going to scratch your face off there for a second. Um, many of you have coaches in your organization that you don't know. Um, and Chelsea, I don't know if you're going to talk on this later, but we do build, I've taught my team to build and I build in such a way that everyone has that free volume, if you will. So these people that you don't know don't count for rank, but they count for this 200, 100 matchup that Chelsea's talking about, which is how you get a strong leg and a weak leg. So your strong leg is where all those coaches are that you're like, who the heck is that? That's a present. Merry Christmas. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. It is. It's awesome. I have a strong leg. Some of my coaches don't, but um, yeah, it's great. Okay. So check this out. I hope this helps, helps you. Um, so this is my, and I will explain more about, did I do that? I just rearranged these slides because I thought it would make more sense in this order. So let me just look. No, this is right. Okay. So this is me. My strong side is on the right and my weak side is on the left. And um, I'm a five-star diamond coach here in my first business center. Now, Beachbody has this amazing thing where when you hit two star, you get to add yourself back into your downline and run all your business through your second self. This is amazing. I have heard that other network marketing MLMs don't do this. And I just think this is so cool because now what I do, once you're a two star, you're allowed to open up your second business center, Chelsea number two. And I run all my sales through here and you start building this business center to diamond, just like you did with your first one. Um, and you, um, put it on your weak side so that you're building income because all this volume is coming up through your weak side to help you try to catch up to your strong side. So now my sides are swapped because like Jillian was saying, you have coaches being added under you and this is a little complicated and I feel like you don't totally get it and you do it, but just trust me that the sides are swapped and now the left side of my second business center is my strong side of that business center and the right is the weak. Okay. Um, then what I should have done on day one was signed up my husband on my weak side, but I didn't know that. I didn't understand that. And so I did it and I waited and held off. And then when I realized my mistake, I decided to wait until I had opened my second business center and I put him on the inside weak leg of my second business center. Now you guys, don't make my mistake that I made. Put your spouse or a friend or a parent or a sister or a brother, whoever is 
gives you permission to kind of control their account at the top of your weak side, you will make so much more money if you do it that way. I really wish that I had. Um, but I did it this way. And so this is flopped from what I would recommend and what, and how I tell my coaches to build. So now my husband, I put him right here and he's actually, um, almost a diamond. Finally, it's taking me a long time. <laughs> um, so he is here and now his strong side is over here because they always flop from whichever side you're put on and his weak side is here. Now the reason I'm showing you all this is because look at what happens when a coach here places a 100 TV order. Okay. So assuming he has plenty of volume over here on his strong side, which he usually does, assuming he has plenty of volume, I have a coach or one of my coaches that's on his weak side sells a challenge pack or Shakeology plus something else like 90 plus a little more and 100 TV goes through on his weak side. Since he's an Emerald coach, he makes 14 bucks. My second business center makes 18 bucks and my first business center makes 18 bucks. So a 100 team volume order here is $50 in residual income for me. That is the power of this business, you guys. That is why this business is amazing and why it can provide freedom for so many people because you're making this money. Um, I remember I got one of my biggest team, team volume um, bonuses, checks, one week when I was on vacation with my husband in the Caymans. I was like, this is amazing. And it's not that I wasn't working, I was present and checking in, but I also wasn't like hardcore, you know, working. I was on vacation. And this is the freedom that everybody talks about right here. Does that make sense to you guys so far? Sort of. You guys are really quiet. Is everyone no. <laughs> looking at your faces? <laughs> okay, I will keep going. I'm almost done. Um, okay, so the whole reverse engineering thing is something I just really enjoy. It's the process of creating, this is the definition, the process of creating a design by analyzing a final product. So you start with your goal and then you work backwards to figure out how you're going to get there. That's what reverse engineering is. So step one, figure out what your annual income goal is. Do you have that in mind? Have you dreamed, like, have you taken the, the chance of dreaming big with this? Have you thought like, this could provide a real income every year for my family? Um, when I first started as a coach, I didn't. I was like, eh, I'm just doing this because I was depressed and bored and I loved it, you know? And I thought if I could make an extra 500 to thousand dollars a month, I will be set. This would totally change my family's reality. And it only took me a couple months of coaching to realize that I could do so much more with it. And so then that's when I started setting income goals for every year. Um, so you need to set a goal, whether you're a brand new coach or whether you've been in the business for a long time, set an income goal because then you are working towards something and you will be working smarter. You will be like asking Jillian the right questions, right? Like you'll understand why you want to sign up your spouse and find another person so you can go Emerald. You'll, that will all make sense because you're working towards an income goal. Um, hold on. Yes. Thank you, Jillian. <laughs> okay. And then break it down by week. So I'm going to use 20,000 a year as an example, not saying that should be your goal or whatever. Um, but divide it by 52 weeks. Every single time I say that I always am like caught in this moment of panic where I'm like, oh, what if 52 isn't how many weeks there are in the year? <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay. 52 weeks, hopefully. And that comes out to about $385 a week that you want to make. Now, granted, you're going to make commissions in there, but I'm not talking about commissions. I'm talking about let's set an income goal 
and let's work towards it so that it's solely based off of team cycle bonuses because then it's much more secure and stable than, than if you're including commissions. Then you can view your commissions as like icing on the cake, you know? Um, I like to think that way. I like to not consider commissions to be part of my income goals, but of course they are. I, it's kind of a it's kind of a back and forth thing, but I like to set my income goals based off of what I want my team cycle or vice versa. I set my team cycle bonus goals based off of what I want my income goals to be so that they're correlated and I don't include my commissions in that. I hope that made sense. So now let's look at volume. When I made this, we were using the old office. So it looks, your volume report looks a little different now, but you can see this was just a random snapshot I did at one point. Um, I do have a strong side. Like I said, my right leg is my strong leg. As you can see, it had a little over twice the volume of my left leg at this point. And, um, and like I was telling you guys at the beginning, your left leg volume, everything on the left side, right leg volume, everything on the right side. You can be successful whether you have a strong side or not run with it. Wherever you are placed, wh whatever your volume is, run with it. You can totally be successful wherever you are. So then you plug in some numbers. So if you are looking at wanting to make $385 in a week and you're an Emerald coach, so you're dividing that by $14 per cycle, then you need roughly 28 cycles every week, which is this much volume, 2,800 on one side and 5,600 on the other. Does that make sense? It's just math, right? Does that make sense? Okay, thank you for nodding. <laughs> diamonds, though, if you're a diamond coach, you get $18 per cycle, so that's only 22 cycles that you need. So that's 2,200 on one side and 4,400 on the other. That's a lot, lot fewer cycles that you need to get the same income. Um, this doesn't even take into account that you're, if you are a two star and you open your second business center, then you're also cycling there. So that's not just your first business center. Like you can make it a lot easier on yourself by opening that second business center. So, um, hang on, Kyle, can you talk to her please? My oldest is like yelling from her room. <laughs> um, Step five, how do you get that kind of volume? Grow your team, grow your team, grow your team. When I was a brand new coach, I, okay, so interesting story. I, like I said, I got into this because I needed it. And I was very skeptical of the whole recruiting thing. Um, I thought that was kind of weird and I wasn't really interested in it, but I was selling challenge packs like crazy. And um, it actually took getting on a call with Brandy Botts, Christy got, a call for me with her like in January I signed up in October and in January I talked to her and she's like you have too many excuses like this is ridiculous and she said you are hitting SC whatever every month you not being an emerald coach is a mindset problem you need to make the decision to do it and just do it and I think hearing it from her versus my direct coach kind of scared me and it kind of made it more real to me. Like she could be very honest and blunt with me. And I think I did it like the next week. I was like, okay, <laughs> Brandy said I need to, I better. And, um, and so I did, I mean, I signed up my husband, I did sign up my husband. I just put him in the wrong place. That is a long story. Okay. Um, but I did, I went Emerald right after that. And never looked back. Then I went diamond like a few months after that and ended the year at two star because I needed that kick in the pants. Sometimes you really need a kick in the pants, right? Um, and this is how you are going to become successful is by recruiting. And it's fun. I love working with my coaches. It's so fun. So, um, so yes, train your coaches to be successful. You cannot just sign people up and then ditch them. You can't do that. I consider all of my coaches, whether they're discounters or not, to be my VIP challengers. Like they are the people I'm most invested in. I never sign people up and then forget about them. Even if they're discounters, they're like super important to me. Um, I'm very invested there. And so I love signing people up. I feel like I'm bringing them into the family, you know? Um, okay. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about very briefly was quarterly bonuses. So as you can see, 
pushing for two star is a big deal because you get to open that second business center. Um, but you also will make roughly $800 a quarter. So the way this works, so they just introduced this diamond bonus where if you're diamond and you hit success club each month of the quarter and you hold your diamond rank for six weeks consecutively within the quarter, then you will get $250 that quarter. So I don't you know, think they're carrying it in 2018. Oh, for real? I think it, it was just a, I asked on the VIP page and they said it was just 2017. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take that out then. <laughs> just to make that. I wish they would, but. I know. That's crazy. I am so surprised by that. I had a lot of coaches that really pushed hard for that. Where is my yeah, husband? it was awesome last year. Yeah. My husband, speaking of working husband's business centers, my husband got it, got it twice. So. That's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. I got it twice as well, and it was so nice because I've been pushing for a star for a really long time, um, and being able to get that reward for holding diamond, it was it was really nice. And I think having that bonus there really, I don't want to say pressure, but kind of like you were saying, like feeling that pressure of like, oh my God, that's like $250 I could leave on the table if I lose this rank. I mean, it makes you really want it. That's disappointing that they won't, they're not going to carry it forward. But yeah, I asked and they said, I mean, not to say they won't bring it back, but yeah, they, they literally just introduced it at summit last year and they did it for the last two quarters of 2017, but they said it wasn't going to continue. So all the more reason to get star, right? Yeah. And all the more reason to get 15 star. Cause there anyone wants $60,000 bonuses, um, a quarter. Yep. Okay, oh thanks. no. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. You can just <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> yeah. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is where you really start making the big bucks. It takes a lot of team cycle bonuses to, add up to $60,000 a quarter. So um, this is where it's at, I think. And I push really hard to hit all these bonuses every quarter because like you said, um, was it Dana? Is that your name? Like you said, um, you're leaving money on the table if you don't hit it. So I'm very motivated by, I'm very financially motivated. So this is a, definitely a big deal to me. And these add up. Well, did I add them? I did. I think I already added them together in here. Um, 3,800. Yeah. So, okay. So here you go. Why I believe in two star. You get to open your second business center. You control your volume to an extent. Um, you qualify for the approximately $800 quarterly bonus. Your volume and team cycle bonuses go way up. I noticed my biggest income jumps when I hit two star and again, when I hit five star and um, like, I remember that being so amazed at how, when I went from, I kind of went from diamond to two star at the end of that year. And I remember there was just that next year, there was just such a different income, like consistency. And then again at five star, it just seemed to, it seemed to launch me into the next bracket kind of a thing. And in my experience and everybody's income expectations are different, of course, but two star gave me a really solid part-time income and five star gave me a really solid full-time income. And obviously that totally depends on how, you know, what kind of volume you have coming through. So you could be a five star and have really crappy volume if you don't have a lot of like great working coaches, but in my experience, it does take some really good working coaches to hit five star. And that that's when my income was like, I could claim it. Like this is a full-time income. I don't know if you had that experience, Jillian. Um, for me, I do have my husband at the top of my, one of my legs. I don't have um, trickle down. I'm on an inside. Um, but I do have my husband on the top of one of my legs and when I didn't know to work him in the beginning, I was just told to put him there. And um, when I started working him, so like kind of opened my second business center in my husband, you know, I saw a huge income jump. And then when I opened my second business center, which is on his weak leg, 
I saw a huge income jump, but sometimes I think you have to choose, um, you know, rank and, um, mm-hmm. what do you call that? Like, um, not recognition mm-hmm. or, or income. Like I feel like I can't really have both because I don't have a strong leg. So I have to build my husband for income a lot. Um, but it doesn't bother me. Like I, you know, I'm like, it's totally fine because I've chosen income over recognition. So sometimes you have to make that choice. Sometimes you don't have to make it. Um, but he's a star diamond coach, you know? Um, and there are weeks that he makes more than I do and it really doesn't matter to me. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's all about like where you place them, but that means if, so what Chelsea's saying about signing up a spouse or signing up a family member in that first spot is super important. But if you're never, if you're just going to sign them up and not do anything with it, then don't bother. But if you're going to sign up and work the business, then yes, bother, yeah. you know, but like, you can't just like sign up a spouse and then like not do anything with it and then be like, I don't understand why I'm not making money. Well, you have to. well and they should be one of your emeralds when you go diamond. I mean, they, yeah. I didn't do that either. So, yeah. And so I always tell my new coaches, you've got to get your spouse or whoever, right in that spot and they might not understand why, but then they're there and they've secured that so that later when they get it, they can come back to it like you did. So though, I mean, I so regret not knowing that when I first signed up. So yeah, I'm going to um, call Dana out on that too. I told her to do that and she's like, okay. And then she didn't. And yeah, no, I totally didn't. Um, I guess by happenstance, he's practically at the top because everybody I put above him has quit except for one <laughs> girl. So only one person has a better spot than him at this point. But I, you know, I was so nervous when I started this business. I told Jillian that I was going to quit six months in. I was basically like, I'll do it for six months and I'm going to quit. And she was like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, okay, good. Um, this year in February will be my third year. So I guess that didn't work out well for me. But I, I was just really nervous. I was like, why would I sign him up? I'm quitting. And once I started proving to myself that I could do this business and it could work for me and I had signed up like a few coaches, I was like, okay, like I'm just being dumb at this point. You know, I have somebody who's been successful and she's telling me what to do. Like I, maybe I should listen to her. So yeah, I have him there now and I finally got him to Emerald. Um, it took me a really long time because I, a lot of my business right now is, it is built on some solid workers, but I do have a lot of discount coaches that I kind of rely on to keep my diamond going. So I was always nervous to put people under him for fear I would lose my diamond. But once he hit Emerald, holy wow, like the money and the cycling off of him, like I don't even have like a second business center yet. So I can only imagine, but like the power of, Mm. of rank and what, like you said, I'm, there's so many weeks and I, I, my checks are pretty small still, but the majority of my checks come from cycle bonus. They don't come mm-hmm. from retail. I, I work a full-time job outside of this. I don't have time to talk to people to retail all day. I don't, I need, if I want this to be anything, it has to come from cycles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's powerful. It's pretty much where it's at, I think. And Um, and you can set like realistic, you can set goals when you understand that this, I want this number weekly on this leg. I want this number weekly on this leg. And then you build accordingly. And, um, you know, I, I'm thankful that Beachbody corporate has mentors because I get most of my, you know, help from my corporate mentor who will look at my as a diamond coach, you should have access to somebody, um, at corporate. I think, don't they do that now? Diamond to two star. Yeah. And they'll say like, you got to do this here (laughs) and they'll help you make that decision rank versus income because depending on what your volume looks like, it can be a hard decision. (laughs) It, It can be easy. It can be like, clearly if I build for rank, I'm giving up income. And then you know, that's not worth it. In my opinion, I think income matters more. Maybe everyone's different, but you know, being able to help my family financially is more important, but, um, and that's how it was for me up till this year. And then this year when I sat down with Joe, he's like, 
no, you're in this sweet spot right now where you can build for rank and you will not be giving up any income. And so I wouldn't know that unless I had. So anyway, take advantage of the resources that you have. Your upline is awesome. Your corporate mentors are awesome. They're there to help. Um, once you hit, that's a huge perk of hitting diamond is you get access to these people. So yes, building a team is where it's at. I feel like I had something else I wanted to share with you guys and it flew away. <laughs> you guys have any questions about this? And if you don't have a spouse, you can use any family member or friend or whatever. It doesn't have to be. Oh, I know what it was. Can I tell you? Sorry. Yeah. To no. Okay. This is another thing. I'm sure Jillian is experiencing this like crazy and has been for a while, but I don't know what was wrong with me for the longest time. Okay. So, um, I have always sold a lot of challenge packs and it wasn't until a few months ago that I decided why am I not? So you guys know how, how the lead program works for some of you that are new, um, where if you're an Emerald coach and you hit success club, then you get free customers that are given to you by Beachbody. Like anybody that goes on the Be team Beachbody website and signs up for a free account, they farm all those people out to anybody who in the previous month was Emerald and hit Success Club 5. If you hit Success Club 10, then you get paid customers. You actually get their commissions from all these people that just go on teambeachbody.com and make a purchase and don't assign it to a specific coach. They farm those out to everybody. So here I've had my husband and I've had plenty of Success Club points and I just never really thought to do much with that. And just a couple months ago, I was like, I should be getting him to Success Club 10 every month. And so I, I have started doing that. That's become one of my non-negotiables. And um, last week, they gave him, like random, it's all random. They gave him a customer who placed a $551 order on Team Boots Body. My husband. <laughs> so then I was like, I will be doing this every month. I will work my tail off to get both of our accounts at least to SC10. Well, you know, you can do that by signing up coaches under your spouse, which is amazing. Grows your team cycle volume even more. Um, yes. Yes. It's so worth it. You guys, so worth it. Yeah, I do. Um, I do that too. And Doug gets free leads and I, and he got, he, she actually isn't working in the business anymore, but he got a, co a coach connection last year, which when you're diamond and above, you get free yeah. coaches. He had a coach connection last year, and she was like my strongest coach for a few months. I was like, all right. Like, so, who is this? How does this happen? It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So super lots of incentive to really get after it and rank advance. I expect to see Jillian announcing tons of Emerald rank advancements, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> two weeks, set a goal. That's another thing is if I don't have a date on the calendar, I just, I just kind of go, Oh, I'll get to that. But if I say no, um, let's see, tomorrow's February 1st. So I'll give myself two weeks. So February 15th, is that a Thursday? I don't know. February 15th, I will be Emerald. And then I see it on the calendar in front of me every day. And it's just becomes it becomes like this non-negotiable thing. So you have to set a drop dead date for yourself. Now, if you miss that date, you haven't failed. You're still a heck of a lot farther ahead than you would have been if you had never set that date, right? You're still talking to way more people and um, you're, you've grown your business a ton. So I don't ever like to see people that set a drop dead date and then miss it and then quit. I mean, that's the last thing you should do. But having that drop dead date works for me. And then it's like, I will do this. And usually I do because I just, in my mind, it's black and white. I'm going to do this. So there you go. Anyone have any goals they want to share since we're just throwing that out there? No? I, this is Jason. I don't have a goal, but I have a question on... Um, you had mentioned signing people up under your spouse, um, like coaches under your spouse. Does, does that mean um, like when they go and they look at their upline, even though they're working with you, Chelsea, like Kyle will show up as their upline coach? 
Yes, but I, I'm, it, if it's not a big deal if you don't make it a big deal. And Jillian, you have more experience with this than me, but I just tell them, hey, I want to put you under my husband. It's just strategic on my part. I'll still be your coach. Every single person I've ever said that to said, fine, no problem. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm looking at this call right now. Kayla, Jill, um, I think that's it for me. But those two ladies are both um, – technically under Doug. And I always tell them like, I'm the face of the business. You'll be working with me, but my husband is my back end guy, which is true. He does all of my back end office stuff. Um, and no one, no one cares. Yeah. And I've done the same thing actually. And I usually tell them that it's a better spot on my team, which is true because that's where I am actively building. Yeah. So my strong leg, like I'm super, super, super lucky. Jillian is my direct upline. And she has made my strong leg so strong and all the girls on there have made it so strong. So, you know, that's kind of like rocking and rolling and I'm working on building his weak leg. So I tell them like, if you build a business, this is the best spot on my team. Who's going to say, no, I don't want the best spot on your team. Please give me the worst. Like, <laughs> like, they always say, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's a really good point. But yeah, like I know that Kayla has been a coach a little longer than Jill, but like Kayla, how many coaches do you think you've had added under you? Like 10 or so? Kira, mute. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot that pops up under for him. Yeah, yeah. And so that to put her there because that's where I'm adding, you know, same thing. So, and Jill, Jill has only been a coach since December, and you probably have five ish. Oh, yeah. I think you've added them under. Yeah, yep. So, yeah, it's, it's really not a big deal. If you are confident in what you're telling them, they'll, they won't care. <laughs> so do you guys have those of you that are newer and you're not emerald yet when are you going to go emerald <laughs> mel just hopped on the call she's one of my brand new coaches she hails from salt lake city <laughs> hey so she's got to go emerald she just hit success club 10 this month so wow that's awesome no <laughs> We got to get her emerald ASAP. I'm all for it. Awesome. But I just, I mean, you'll just have to teach me your ways. That's all. <laughs> We're working on it. Oh, and that's what I was going to tell you guys. If you have, you know, when you sign up your um, spouse or whoever you're signing up to hold that spot, um, uh, one of the biggest hesitations for doing that that I come across is I don't want to spend another hundred and some dollars a month on the Shakeology. Well, here's the thing. And I know every team does this differently, but in my team, the way we run free groups is we sell Shakeology samples to our free challengers so that they'll try it. And I, the way I price my samples is I price them. Okay. So you guys do this too. I price them so that they're incentivized to buy a five pack or a seven pack, depending on how long the challenge is because I want them drinking it every single day. You don't notice the effects of it unless you're more likely to like really notice how it's changing your body from the inside if you're drinking it every day for five to seven days. So I price it that way so that they buy the five pack or the seven pack. And um, I go through, so I order my Shakeology for me through my account and I order a box of samples every month through his account and I don't lose money on those. I don't really make a lot, but I break even and that's all I really need. You know? So that's another thing is like people say, I don't want to do, um, I don't want to sign up my husband because then I'm, I have all these samples. Well, for me, when I see the samples piling up, I am very incentivized to sell them. And I want to break even. I don't want to lose money. And so I will run another free group. I'll push it really hard. I'll offer it. And then I'm getting Shakeology into more people's hands and I can go back and follow up with them. How'd you like it? And on and on. And it goes from there. So yes, exactly, Jillian. Like they're more likely to buy a challenge pack if they have had Shakeology every day for a week. They're much I more just likely. spoke to a girl today who she just sent me a random message and she's like, hi, do you sell Shakeology? And I was like, yep. 
Um, and so we started chatting and she was like, I'm nervous to commit to a month. And I was like, well, great. You're in luck because we can do a week and we have a taco cleaning plan starting Monday. And she was like, tacos? I was like, yeah, tacos. So um, it's really great because I have, a, I have a solution for someone that isn't ready for a month. And she's like, I'll probably end up doing the month. I'm like, that's great. But you know what? Challenge packs are going on sale tomorrow anyway. So don't buy anything before, you know, I'm sending your stuff in the morning. But I'm like, don't buy anything before tomorrow anyway. So mm-hmm. Yeah, it's worth it, you guys. You sign up your husband and you're like, now I really have to do this. Now I am invested (laughs) and you will make it happen. I love that you're doing a taco challenge. I just have to say, I've never heard of that before. I might be stealing that idea. I I can send you the meal plan. One of the girls, Rachel, put it together. Just like breakfast, lunch, snacks, and every dinner is a taco. (laughs) That is so cool. So, and it's and it's um, 80 day obsession friendly. So if anyone's doing that, don't feel like that's that. amazing. Yeah, very cool. Tacos. I might need to see that. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Any questions, guys? I know it's ten. We'll let everyone go. I hope this was helpful. Probably more helpful for new coaches than for someone like Dana. Sorry, Dana. Um, okay. It's always good to hear info and other people's perspective. Well, yeah. And go two star, right? Are you? You're. Yeah, she'll star go two year. star this year. She'll go seven star this year. I, I'd love to go any stars at all. I'm, you know, I have a problem, I guess, with duplication. I'm, I'm really struggling in how to duplicate what I do in my coaches. I, I feel like, like I love this business, and I know my coaches love this business too. Um, and. I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with, the, with how to duplicate my actions. You know, I'm hitting success club every month. I've, I think I'm on maybe month 18 or 19 at this point. I wasn't so strong in the beginning, but I've gotten there now. Um, but I don't know, like my team's very hit or miss with success club and I like the girls I'm working with. So it's not that I think I need, you know, of course I'm still building, but I just, that's where I'm struggling how to duplicate my process. I think this year I'll be better. I think last year was tough. That's my honest opinion on it. I just yeah. think with the bars and like, you know, all access being a set price now, instead of like, are they going to raise the, I don't know. That was like weird to me last year. It was like on sale the whole year. I do think it's, it's yeah. just, I think it's just a better year. That's just my, I'm not making excuses. I think it's just a better year. Um, and I just, I, I, you know, I, I feel like, so they say your team, you can expect your team to do half of what you do. Is that what they say, Chelsea? I feel like. Mm-hmm. So just keep setting the bar high. You're doing everything right. And you have to think of like you work full time and you're a mom and you still are making, you know, a decent part-time income. Oh you yeah. Could- and I, I set a goal for myself for like a thousand a month, which I know is, you know, it's maybe not a ton of money, but. I'm pretty much there every month. So I think I need to reevaluate and push a little harder, but no, it's nice. And I mean, you know, I'm paying for my son's karate. I'm paying for my daughter's dance and and that's all I want. I don't want to quit my job. I love my job. I'm not trying to quit. So, you know, I want this to be fun plus be able to still work. I think I really need to reevaluate, you know, my avatar with who I'm going for. Um, cause I think I, you know, I need to look for more people who are more in my position. I don't think I attract necessarily stay at home moms. I'm not a stay at home mom. I need to look for those women who love their work and want this as not necessarily just a hobby, but like a really great part-time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the part-time coach thing is really appealing to a lot of people. I had, um, I'm running a, our, our sneak peek this week with, um, um, another coach and she's full time, but she's like, I'm really struggling to get other people that want to be full time. And so she's like, I think we should appeal to kind of the part-time audience right now and see kind of what happens. So we're, we're trying to do that. So we'll see. I think it was at summit, right? Was there that, is that where I saw it? Keisha, Kesha? Keisha? It was that Super Saturday. Yeah. I think. Summit. I, I said Summit, but I was totally picturing Super Saturday. And that's what she said. Like she basically targeted for part time and that she basically put out posts saying that, like building it as a part time thing, which she's full time now, but 
I thought it was an interesting way to try and think about it. You know, I think we're always looking for those like super big rock stars who are going to, you know, go all in on it. But I'd be, I'd be happy with rock stars who are part time. I don't know what is wrong with my brain, but I keep thinking you're holding a baby. <laughs> no, no babies. Like, and, and you may see, I'm sorry, this is my son's what it is. very big <laughs> animal that's behind me. So perhaps. I'm telling you like 20 dog. times on this call, I've had to tell myself, is that a baby? No, not a baby. No, it's not a baby. It's a huge stuffed dog. <laughs> why yeah. wouldn't I take a call right next to a huge stuffed dog? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else, you guys? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, if anyone thinks of anything, let us know. Chelsea, thank you so, so, so much. This was great. Super helpful. Thanks for sharing your story too. I think it's awesome for everyone to kind of hear the background and everyone has a different story on how they started and, and why, and kind of sharing a little bit about your mental health is, you know, that that's a struggle for a lot of people. So I really appreciate it. Yeah. And I can um, send you the slides too, if that would be helpful. Yeah. Any you guys want slides? Yeah. Yeah. I okay, should have cool. told you that before you were writing furiously. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for your brain, right? Good for your brain. Sorry. That's okay. All right, cool. Thank you again. If anyone Thank has any you. questions, let me know or ping Chelsea. I'm sure she's fine with it. I just offered her up for that. So sorry, girl. Sure. Anytime. Um, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.